Taffy, Tyrone and Tallis played starring roles in the Rabbitohs' 32-36 loss to the Bulldogs at Acor Stadium on Saturday. Welcome to Bunnies TV. It's Mayvo here, and I'm fresh off knee surgery. I watched the game on my phone in hospital, and I'd like to report that I'm recovering well. Thanks to everyone who's reached out. I want to thank the doctors and staff at the Prince of Wales Private Hospital for looking after me. And it's worked out well because the team's got the buy so I can recover and there's no media commitments this week. Do you know what gives Daryl Lee Batch 37 licorice its unique taste? They focus on quality ingredients. Their dark natural molasses is made from Australian sugarcane and blended with treacle, licorice root extract and aniseed. There's loads of good stuff in the black stuff. I'd like to remind you to follow Bunnies TV's new Instagram and podcast pages. There's a link in the description of this video. There was a lot to like about the Bunnies performance. Yes, we didn't get the two points, but we had a fair few players out, as you know, through origin duty and suspension and injury. And the guys that went out there did the jersey proud. They hung in there and fought right till the end. Now, there's a lot of talk about the referee's decisions. A few people scratching their heads, and I think the club's going to make a complaint about that. But we'll move on. A Blake Taff double was his best performance in first grade and reminded everyone just how talented Taffy is. What a game he had. It was great to see him in the clear, scoring tries, doing what he does best. Tyrone Munro was everywhere again, and he's now got three tries in two games. He's making line breaks. He's showing poise under pressure. He's catching bombs. And his turn and chase of Burton was pretty special. We'll all agree. How quick is the bloke? Talis Duncan, one of the favourites on the show. He was superb. And from the moment he took the field, he made a difference. Try saving tackles. And then that try that he put on from the kickoff when the team needed points. Little show and go. Took on the line. Burst through. Picks up Pete Mamazellas, who then picked him up. And away he went and showed that toe. And everyone went, wow, this kid, he can play. So, yeah, good on you, Talis. Well done, mate. So that was good. The pride of Parks, Benny Lovett. He played 80 minutes in his second appearance in the top grade. Got through a lot of work. He was unlucky not to score late in the game when he beat the fullback. And also, I just mentioned Pete Mamazellas. He played big minutes and added quality. So we'll, we'll just go through the game. We're not going to worry too much about the Bulldogs because, yes, they played well. They bounced back from a huge thrashing the week before. Tom and Sam Burgess became only the third set of brothers to Captain South since Clary and Harold Horder in 1924. And Jack and Victor Lawrence, relatives of Emmett Lawrence, in 1924. 28. So yeah, Jack and Victor, relatives of Emma Lawrence in 1928. Then Tommy goes out and scores a try, and it's try celebration month for a betting company. And he did the, it's the Wim Hof celebration. And on the Fox call, they couldn't work that out. They thought he was just doing a karate. But if you're looking to have an ice bath experience, make sure you go to Blast Pit because they'll look after you with a ice bath and a whole lot more and there's a link to Blast Pit's Instagram in the description of this video as well. So try for Tommy. Congratulations. One of the greats of the club. Got us off on the right foot and unfortunately the doggies came back and put a few tries on us. So we were on the back foot from there but Tyrone's try was a nice ball from Kenner. Did that last week as well. A little short ball. And then Tyrone showed the skills. He's got the fend. He's got the footwork. He doesn't need much space to make defenders pay. And he made his opposite winger pay there. A little bit of room. Boom. He's in. That was great. Now, Blake's first try. It was nice work. Hands from Ilias and Hawkins. A clever decoy run from Benjamin Lovett. Then Taffy showed his speed. And it was a nice move to boot the fullback. And Vossi on the fox call was... Impressed. He was loving your work, Taffy, and so was I, and so were the South fans. Now, on Friday's captain's run, 
Live and free on Bunnies TV, I said I'd love to see three best mates, Pete Mamazellis, Lachlan Ilias and Blake Taft combined for a try. And that's exactly what happened in the 67th minute of the game. Pete passed the ball to Ilias, who then turned Taffy on the inside. And Blake ran a good line coming from outside in. And then he busted through a few tackles to score. So that was great. Tyrone's second try was an excellent pass from Tallis to Ilias, to Hawkins, before a great little kick from Tane Milne put it through, but pure speed from Tyrone to score the try. That's what he brings. Not only has he got all the skills, but he's just that electrifying pace down the outside, so he's exciting. And then we saw the try I just described before. Talis's try from the kickoff. It was unbelievable, and it's been named the NRL Try of the Week. I'm calling it probably the try of the year so far. It was definitely one of the best tries anyone will ever score for their first try in first grade. If anyone would like to leave in the comments a try that they can remember someone scoring on their first try, I'd like to hear it. But if they can do better than that, they've done pretty well. That was some sort of try. I'll never forget it. And I know young Talis won't and the family won't as well. And most of our supporters think we're on something special here. This kid has got a big future. And it poses the question for JD next week. We've got a lot of troops coming back, a lot of experienced troops. Do you find a spot for Tal in the 17? Stay tuned for Teamless Tuesday next week. Um, so, yeah, the boys hung in there. It was six tries all in the end. And the Burton boot was the difference. And the face of lasers in his eyes, and he was hitting them well. Not going to over from the sideline, so what are you going to do? This show is brought to you by Daryl Lee. The Juniors Group of Clubs, NG Farah, George's Cameras, you can see them there in the back of the laptop, best in the business. Barnaby Water, premium structured water. Dot Bill Constructions, Site Pizza and Blast Pit. The New South Wales Cup went down 44 to 16 to the latter leading Bulldogs. So they're up against a tough side there and had a few out as well because they were up, a few of them were up playing first grade, as you know. And then the flag went down 24-18 to the Eels. As I mentioned, Souths have the bye this week. Then they take on the Broncos in a blockbuster clash. Reno, we're coming for you. Up at the Sunshine Coast, Friday night footy, 8 p.m., 21st of July. That's going to be a big game. We're getting some troops back. JD's already said he thinks that Jai Arrow will return. Campbell Graham, um, and there's going to be a few others. I'm not sure about Luttrell. He did say he might give him another week, but we shall see. The Pathways, this Saturday, round 20 at 1 p.m. on the 15th of July, the Jersey flag take on the Sharks at Redfern Oval. So it might be the buy round, but you can watch the Rabbitohs at Redfern Oval. And that should be a huge clash against the Sharkies there. The boys from the Shire are coming over. Then on Sunday, Arvo at 3.45 on the 16th of July, our New South Wales Cup team take on the Eels at Combank in the curtain raiser for the first grade Eels v Titans game. So you can head out there to watch that one. I'm not sure if it's on Foxtel. I don't think it would be on that Sunday time slot there. Before I let you go, Origin 3 is going to be huge on Wednesday night. Go the Blues. Come on, the Blues. We've got four blokes named to start. And one of them is Keon. And he had tears in his eyes when he was talking about his daughter the other day to Danny Wilder. It was quite moving. And um, yeah, it just shows the passion this bloke's got for what he's doing. It's a monumental moment in his life. And, you know, I've got two daughters myself and you know, I love them to death. I love them with all my heart. And they're a little bit older than Keon's little baby, turning 28 and 26. But yeah, so it means a lot to him. Good luck to Keon when he starts on the edge for the Blues on Wednesday night. And also, on NRL 360, NRL 360, they speculated that Freddie might bring Spencer Lenu in at the expense of Cookie. I hope he doesn't because I wouldn't be happy with that. I hope that's incorrect. I hope all four Rabbitohs start and dominate this contest. All eyes will be on Cody Walker, the number six. The first time he started at the six for the Blues. He's played Origin before and scored a try, but it was off the bench. This time, Cody is the man with the six, and he is 
the best ball player in the NRL when he's on. Let's hope we see it on Wednesday night. Good luck, Cody Walker. And the other one we're wishing luck to is Cameron Murray, who I think it's the first time he started at lock for ages or if at all, because it's always been Isaiah Yeo or somebody else. But this time it's Cam Murray. And the Blues are going to benefit from the fact that our captain is starting at lock for the Blues in, look, it's a dead rubber, I know. But tell that to Keon. Or Cam, or all these South boys, or all the fans that are going to go out there and cheer on the Blues. We want to salvage some pride on Wednesday night. And it gives us a, something to cheer because we've got no footy on the weekend other than the pathways. Thanks again for all your support. If you're listening to this on Apple Podcasts, give the new podcast a five star rating and review. Follow us on Spotify. Thanks for joining me on Bunnies TV and up. The Mighty Rabbitohs. See you later.